Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's Sunday the 11th of February 2024. It's 8.30. It's a bit dull, dreary, horrible and wet. And I've been here about half an hour. It's now 8.30 and I decided in the end to uh, connect uh, this barrel uh, to there. And I've already filled this barrel up with 200 litres. So all the siphoning system now is just uh, levelling off. Yesterday, I moved some of the water from there. It was dirty, horrible, rusty. So I'm going to drain that uh, what's left out of that galvanised tank and uh, tip that barrel over. It's wet enough as it is, so a little bit more won't hurt. Good morning, Mr Robin and then we can clear that area as soon as uh, the wildlife have vacated uh, those areas there so we've got about 2200 liters now uh, in this area here uh, taking the water off this roof and now that roof now we've made the adjustments we can finish that guttering off at a later date it's working well at the moment it's not clipped in properly as long as it doesn't blow away that's the main thing so that's that little job sorted from yesterday finished off now we need to get on with the strawberries before all the uh, tulips start to come through but well, if you have a look at that bed and this bed you can see there's a big difference i need to pull those out and see if we've got uh, the vine weevil so i think it was last year I uh, picked the best ones and moved them all, checked the roots, etc. Everything was absolutely fine. So I've just got to be wary of the... Uh... Tulips. I think I'll just get myself a little board to put it on. And we might be able to see a little bit better then. I don't do little. <laughs> These were sheltered a little bit as well. So I'm not sure whether they actually... Didn't get enough light. A few weeds in there. Let's pull some of the old leaves off. Let the dogs see the bone. Because if they've not got anything uh, wrong with them, then we can get the better ones uh, replanted. But looking at them, you would have thought uh, there was something in there. Like uh, Brian said, if there is, we'll just scatter this soil on a plastic sheet. Let the birds have them out, but I can't see any. So let me uh, have a little better look on some others and I'll wash those uh, roots out that we've just done. Well, I was convinced that uh, We've got vine weevil, but uh, I've washed the uh, the roots out, and uh, there's only perlite in there. Just give them a rinse through, and there's uh, nothing at all. It's always awkward when uh, you've got perlite in there, but there's nothing. Uh, nothing in that. Put that back to my compost runoff bin. So it looks like it was just abuse where we stacked things on this far side because I did say that the further we went up the better so now all I've got to do is remove all the uh, dead 
dead and just ensure we've got a plant in each uh, station. Well, that's going to be an easier job. I'm just going to give it a light coating now of uh, Coco Koi. That'll just hold uh, some of the weeds back. Right, I need to get into my cabbage cage as I call it and plant uh, these abused strawberry runners. They did so much better in here and the runners which started off when they were trapped behind uh, the net there they look like <laughs> uh, they've uh, not suffering at all hardly any uh, damaged um, leaves on them so I need to pull all these from out the back and plant all the rest uh, up here because I did have some really big lovely strawberries from uh, that variety which is called Sweetheart isn't nature wonderful always tries to find a way I wonder if there's any salvageable cabbage in that. We'll find out shortly. Well, they look better after a trim. So I'll have a rough idea now how many uh, I've got and whether I can replace some of those that look a little bit ropey. Uh, just a quick one. Uh, because these have been in a long time, they do get a little bit pot bound and the roots go round and round. Just make sure you uh, break the roots apart. And don't plant the first 20 and forget to take out the little wire clips that we used to hold the babies down while they were rooting. Tut, tut, tut. Don't think the sun's going to come out today. So that's that sorted. Those plants in this corner were in uh, real good condition. You'll probably see the ones uh, like there that are. But now we've got... 68 plants in the uh, cabbage cage and we'll see how they uh, get on of course they're all for free and that's one of the uh, giant carrots that I'm hoping will go to seed it's still trying to grow and as you know carrots on the second year will go to seed you won't get nothing from them same as parsnips some of those surplus ones have gone in there because the others didn't look uh, in brilliant condition we'll see how these come up but we've got plenty of strawberries anyway and i think i'll be having a rethink because somebody did say that the tulip bulbs may be taking everything from the soil even though i was trying to add plenty of uh, liquid uh, manure nitrogen but we'll see I started off with about half a dozen tulip bulbs at home and now uh, there's hundreds and uh, hundreds. But this will be a nice little job for half an hour every time I get in the evening before going home after a, a long day at, uh, at work. And even though these pallet collars are twisted and turned and sinking, I haven't got time this year to sort these because I could always move these pallet collars over to here at uh, some stage in the shade of the holly bush but for now we'll have a few more strawberries hopefully well it's almost 10 30 so i've been here two and a half hours Our worms uh, are loving it they must have climbed up the stem doing their job. Sorry worms if you're in the way. But you could literally leave that in the ground and let these grow but uh, I'm sure they'd be uh, good on your plate. <laughs> Let's have a snack. Excuse me. It's quite tasty. Of course you really shouldn't look in case there's anything crawling in there. Bring it back 
in a minute guys well we didn't end up with much but uh, I can uh, tidy that at home when I've got uh, clean hands the rest will go in the compost bin I almost forgot about those uh, runners that I took from the uh, around the pear tree I can put those uh, in that first bed that we looked at get them out of the way before I top this bed up please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down before you leave today leave me a comment and why not consider subscribing happy gardening to you all till next time my friends for now.